So I've just arrived at Grange, and as it's nearly my birthday, I thought I'd treat myself to a new car. New car. So I've had the car for less than 24 hours. There she is. She's heading to Urban. Urban. I never ever leave my car standard. So come with me and let's see what they've done to my new car. Right everyone, so we have got Yanni from Yanomize's brand new 2022 full-size Range Rover here on the ramp. So it's coming for a few little bits. Obviously, we've got a kit coming for this shortly. We're in a few months or so. We're not rushing it. There's not many cars about yet, so we're, we're taking our time with that. But he's coming in for wheels. He's having 24-inch alloys to replace the 23s. It's a big car. 24s will look just about right on it. Mark is removing the calipers. We're getting those painted. I'm not sure what colour yet, so that's quite exciting. Obviously, when Yanni does tainted calipers, he has to consider what will go with a wrap as well. He's obviously already knows what, what wrap colour he's doing. And also, if you want to come around the back, with the new Range Rover, like the Velar, Land Rover put holes behind these letters. So this has to be smoothed over and re-lacquered so we can put the Urban letter in. So that's getting done. Anything that's silver or grey on the car is getting blacked out. Um, and that's it so far. Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut and this week we have a bit of a special handover. Normally, the king of handovers who's doing lots of handovers every week for his rap company, my friend Yanni from Yanomize. Mate, good mate, you? You will? What's yeah. that? All right. All right. I, was, I was halfway through doing an intro there, but you've obviously, you've, you've, you've basically done it. So Yan's here to collect his car. I was supposed to tell you that he was here, but he's now here because you know he's here because he's in the video. I think, I think your audience are a bit sharper than that. I think yeah. they realised. I think they've realised. Are you enjoying the weather? No. I know you love the heat. No, I'm, I'm, mis I'm genuinely miserable. I love the sunshine, but this, um, this heat is... I'm, I'm getting like, I'm really aggy. I love the heat. You like the heat as well, I don't you? I love the heat. Yeah. You've got this nice Mediterranean skin, haven't you? But I'm like a, a miserable big bear that needs a shady cave, so... <laughs> this intro was supposed to be professional. It's obviously taken a downward turn. Do you want to see your car? Obviously, because I turned up. So everything takes a downward turn when I turn up, so it's fine. Um, before we see my car, subscribe to Urban Automotive YouTube. We need 50,000. Cheers. All right, okay, let's do it. Woo! Always looks better with the plate on. So it's got Urban lettering. Oh, that's not the wheel. Look at the wheel with the yellow caliper. To me, you've always got to have a yellow or red caliper against the back of a wheel because it really stands out. Do you want to tell me what's been done? So we haven't done a kit yet. Yeah? Yep. And obviously you can't have your car as standard, so it had to come here for something. Standard, has yeah. to always come to Urban. So what we've done, first off, we've branded the car, which was really difficult. Land Rover have thrown a spanner in the work. This is the light panel, yeah? So it's the light cluster, yeah? yeah? And where they put Range Rover, they drilled holes all the way through each layer. So obviously when you've got R, A, N, blah, blah, yeah. yeah, just here you had holes. So we've had to fine line it and basically blend in black to clear. Really? Uh, it looks seamless on the back. Okay. So that was the first test. Obviously yours was the first car that got urban letters. It does look nice on the back, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really, really what? crisp. From our younger days, remember we used to smoke the rear lights and now cars it's, come it's, back it's, to it's you with smoke rear yeah. lights. So I think they copied the boy races, didn't they? That's the proper way though, because um, usually it was just like your mum's tights. <laughs> they used to do the spray one as well, yeah, didn't the they? It was terrible all, though. All run and stuff yeah, like that. It was that. too dark yeah. as well, it was too yeah. dark. Okay, so that's so, the rear. So, so that's it, so we've done a full color code on it. Obviously this came through with a shadow pack on it, which was obviously all of the accents were in like a light gray color. Yeah, so it's had a full blackout pack on it. 
and obviously it's got our new 24 inch wheels. So it's the first time we've actually done like our higher volume 24 inch wheel because the new Range Rover as standard comes with 23s. Mine did actually have 23s on it and I looked and I thought, 23s are still a good size wheel, but it still looks a little bit small. It's such a big car. And my Aurus has always had 24s. 24s as well. don't look oversized, they just look right because it is such a big car. That's right, and the good thing on this as well, you still get a good tyre wall, so it's still comfortable in the car. There's absolutely no compromise on like ride quality because in this, it's like a luxury vehicle. You don't want it to be bouncing. That's where, that's where people used to always complain, oh, I don't want to put too big a wheels, will it affect my ride? I want it to drive comfortable. But with the bigger, to be fair, even with the Urus again, yeah. no issues at all with the 24s. The air suspension sorts out most of the bumps in the road anyway. But I've got no noise. It's not no. a petrol. Yeah, I know. You're yeah. not put a sports exhaust on it? Can we not do like the Tesla things and like put like the sound, sound box? Sound box. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, no. Absolutely not. I didn't want that anyway. No. Okay. Well, we could try and put a, a card in the spokes or something like you used to do with a bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you used to put the can, yeah, can right on the back yeah. wheel. <laughs> okay. And then last of the side steps that we do for all of our other vehicles, we've modified all of the fitting so they actually fit the new L460 car as well. So the side steps go on, similar sort of design. We are going to actually come up with a new design which replicates like the front grille. So that's something we've got in the pipeline coming through. So we have a revision of the step as well. But for now, they do fit the car. Yeah, for me, I always like a side step. You don't like a side step. I, I'll be honest, no, I don't. I wasn't going to say that on camera because obviously it's a very popular product, but I'm sure my opinion won't um, change the sales. But yeah, I, I just think the... the... Beep, 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 beep. I love a side step. To me, it makes the car look wider. You have to have a side step. I know a lot of people have the electric one that comes out. Always side step. First just, thing you always put on is I like the, the smooth design of the new Range Rover and that makes it look a little bit more 4x4, four four, but I get why people like them. It looks great, not for me. Okay. You know what the best thing about it is? There's lots of black accents on it and like you said about the smoke lights. Yeah. So I'm assuming it's coming straight back to yours for a wrap. Straight back for a wrap. So when you put colour on this and you break it up with the gloss black at the bottom, the side vent, I guess you're going to put some colour in the centre of the side vent and stuff like that to basically pull out some details, it will look absolutely amazing. Yeah, but listen, black on black always work. It's a no brainer. We done the calipers in yellow as well. So we've got the calipers done in yellow, tinted the windows, private plates gone on. And Have you tinted the front windows? I always tint the front windows. Are you, when are you taking them off? When you get uh, pulled again? Police. Yeah, if you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you look here, if you look here, yeah, this happened to me. I have chose the color. The color is going to be very, very bright. Let me know what color you think. I've done. Everyone knows I'm known for ruining my cars and I'm chavvy and I'm so out there and he's probably gonna do it chrome and ruin it again and oh my god, money doesn't buy taste and it does buy your Range Rover though. Do remember though, one one wrap, one wrap which you have to oh, you admit to ruined, be you ruined the urban brand. Be a horrendous mistake. Do you know which uh, one? Snake skin. Yep. <laughs> you, you knew oh, I was going to say that. I had a Range Rover Vogue over and I put snake skin. Cream on it. snake skin. Yeah, and you touched it and it felt like snake Awful. skin as well. Horrible. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. the best. First urban car I had was 2016. Uh, yeah, 2016, but, early sport with the kit that we used to buy from someone else. It yeah. wasn't even our kit. Yeah, All we yeah. did was a splitter for it. That was our first endeavor into making something ourselves, which was a splitter. And we made it out of a piece of wood to start off with. Yeah, it was really terrible. It was really good. And then I literally just went Range Rover, Range Rover, That's SBR, it. Velar, Vogue. Oh God, just literally how many Range Rovers back to yeah, back to back. Yeah. Never had a Defender. G-Wagon, yeah, the Urban G-Wagon. Oh, Urban G-Wagon. Oh yeah, cool. Oh yeah, cool. I had the Urban G-Wagon as well. Yeah, that was during COVID. Right, so she's done. She looks amazing. Um, and to be fair, everyone's like, don't ruin it. It should stay in black. No, I can't leave my car in black. I <laughs> no, I have to ruin it. <laughs> 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 it did sound like you was going to say that. Sorry for Lenny, innit? Then he's got his Merc, black on black. That's it, he loves taking a picture of his car, Lenny does. Loves it. Can we, Can we put a picture of that somewhere? Because it is, it is awesome. Can we, like, up here, yeah? So that's it. Hand over done, you happy? Listen, I'm always happy. Listen, I can come here and I don't have to question nothing because I know it'll always be amazing. The wheel is incredible. Really, really incredible wheel. The car looks great. Just excited to get it back to the animals now. And ruin and it. Ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs>
this is being wrapped and I have chosen the colour 